try to make this uh, <laughs> quick video. I've been meaning to do this for, uh, for a little while now. I need it like my tablet to kind of be you know, like this no light. Couldn't do anything during the day for the last few days and just really wanted to get this done. And uh, this is my second video in my what I call my holiday season. My holiday season actually starts in, um, in uh, on Halloween and because we have Halloween. And then we have Veterans Day, which is what I'm going to talk about now. And then it rolls forward. In my family, we have a couple of birthdays. We have my son's birthday, which is actually today, uh, November 16th. And then, unfortunately, we have my birthday three days later, which we're not going to celebrate because I'm way too old. Uh, three days after that, uh, we have my, my anniversary, my wife and I's anniversary. And then usually within a few days after that is Thanksgiving. This year it's a little farther. It's like 28th or something of November. And then we have the whole Thanksgiving weekend. My son comes home from school, my other son. And then obviously we go into December and you roll into Christmas and New Year. So um, the holiday season for this family is kind of extended. So, uh, give me a sign. So uh, I'm going to talk about Veterans Day real quick. And I brought another my other device so I can take notes on it. Now that I'm holding this, I can't read it. <laughs> so hopefully I remember. Um, real quickly, I'm not going to make a big deal out of this one. I had nothing really negative or harsh to say about anything. But um, really, actually, uh, in my country, United States, we celebrate Veterans Day, which is actually the, um, what's the word I want to use? The predecessor the predecessor to it was what they called Armistice Day, which was a celebration of the end of World War One. Which was uh, the armistice started on the uh, 11th of November at 11 a.m. 11 minutes past 11 a.m. and uh, that was a big deal. But in this in this country, in the United States, it turned into Veterans Day, a celebration for all veterans. We have a Memorial Day, which celebrates in back in May. It celebrates all the ones who died for their country, who were killed in combat. So what they did is they turned they made Veterans Day actually a holiday to honor veterans, all veterans. And I think it's actually pretty cool. And this country does a pretty good job, in my opinion. Of doing that, uh, a lot of uh, excuse me. As usual, I'm on camera and I get an ingestion. But uh, my head's glowing because of the fluorescent lights. I'm trying to get away from that. Hold on, bear with me. Bear with me again. Nope. <laughs> so I guess you guys look at my glowing head. That's not too bad. All right. Um. So um. Veterans Day, nothing. It's a great holiday. I, I think it's just good just to honor veterans. Not so much for me. As you can see, I'm wearing my coat, my field jacket, because it's cold outside. This veterans Day was actually, Veterans Day wasn't bad. Actually, it was very nice, but now the week after, it's very cold. Not the right way. So, um, so I'm wearing that, and, and uh, just a coincidence. And um, Veterans Day, to me, is just a really good holiday to celebrate, you know, people who serve. And not that we need our asses kissed or any of that crap. But just to say, hey, this is, you know, thanks, guys, whatever. Yeah, that's nice. And actually, a lot of businesses give you a lot of free stuff. You get a couple of free meals. If you know what you're doing, you go to a couple of restaurants. That's what my wife and I did. We spent the day, actually. I got a free oil change for my car. I got two meals, uh, lunch and dinner. And uh, what else did I get? Uh, I think that's it. But it, it was nice. You know, it's a kind of cool thing. So, um, you know, I didn't just take the stuff either. I, you know, I made sure the manager, you know, knew that I appreciated that that's what he was doing or she was doing. And uh, it was just nice. But really, Veterans Day, even though I think it's great to celebrate uh, veterans, I think it really should be a focus on the ones who, you know, the ones who die get <laughs> get a day in Memorial Day. But I think really the next sacrifice below that are the ones who get wounded in combat. I think that uh, the ones who get wounded really should get the adoration they, they deserve on Veterans Day. You know, it's nice for me if you see me and you know I'm a veteran. Hey, thanks, you know, whatever. Thanks for your service. That's great. That's all I really need. But the disabled vets that are out there really should get, you know, treated really well on Veterans Day and, and any day, really. But I think Veterans Day really should be focused on them. Um, I think Veterans Day should really hopefully migrate to a point where it's really honoring those who, you know, gave the second greatest <laughs> sacrifice they can give and get and give up. You know, they got wounded in combat. And, uh, I think disabled vets should really get uh, honored on Veterans Day. There's actually a really good uh, charity that I'm uh, getting ready to start. I've had some uh, difficulties, or not difficulties, just trying to sort things out financially the last few months, and I haven't done anything like this, but I'm getting ready to start it right around Christmas time. Um, it's a really good charity called the Wounded Warrior Project, 
and uh, it's a charity to help vets who come home and have, have issues. And with the war going on in the Middle East, a lot of people are coming back with a lot of issues. And uh, this organization, from what I see, does a really good job of, of, of helping them. Really good job, from what I've seen. So uh, if I'm going to give to a charity, that's the charity I'm really looking at giving to. So uh, my wife and I had to talk about it. And each of us want to give to something, and that's that's what I'm going to be giving to. So if you have any uh, interest in that, I'm going to put a link uh, link down below. And it's called the Wounded Warrior Project. I think it's uh, woundedwarrior.org, but I'm not 100% now what I'm talking. I will put the link down below. And uh, it's a really good cause. And if you want to thank veterans at all, that's a really good, something really good to donate to. And you're really helping somebody who could probably really, really need it. So uh, the Wounded Warrior Project is a really good uh, charity if you want to donate to that. But as far as veterans go, um, I think it's a great day. Sorry, I got to move my hand. It's going to be heavy. Oh, it's my ear a little bit. Itch. Um, Last thing I want to do is talk about, do you really know what a veteran is? So I'm going to do, do that really quickly. Uh, a veteran in the United States of America, a veteran is anybody who has served at least 180 days active military service on active military orders. That means um, when you sign up for the military in the United States, any branch, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and during World War II, uh, the United States Merchant Marine, uh, and you served 180 days or more, Every day, act full time, on orders, saying that you were that you were part of that organization for 180 days or more, then you are considered a veteran of the United States military. So that you, well, the way that usually works is if you sign up for whatever tour of duty or how many years you want to sign up for in active duty, like active army, Navy, Marine Corps, Coast Guard, Air Force, uh, or like I said during World War II, the Merchant Marine. So I don't know which. Um, and you were on active duty, you were con you're considered a veteran because you're obviously going to finish 180 days no matter what. And after that time, you're considered a veteran. Uh, if you're reserves or National Guard in the United States military, um, as long as you, you know, you'll get 180 days no matter what. I mean, between basic training or combat, basic combat training or boot camp, you're going to do anywhere from 8 to 12 weeks of training, active duty. And then you're going to do another 6, 7 weeks learning your job on active that's what they do. They you're full time when you do that. So even if you don't get it, like if you're an in infantry in the army, you'll do nine weeks of basic training and another seven weeks of additional training. I know that's not 180 days, I don't think. But then when you do your first annual training that following year for two weeks, then you'll you'll go over that amount. So within a two year period, you're going to get 180 days. So basically, if you're two years in any military branch in the United States, you're going to be considered a veteran when you get out. So anybody who's done that is considered a military veteran in the United States. And you would be uh, authorized the benefits that go along with it as long as you're honorably discharged. We won't get into the whole dishonorable, honorable thing like that. If you're honorably discharged, you get those benefits. Uh, there's a couple other ones. There's a combat veteran. Combat veteran in the United States military is basically anybody with boots on the ground. Well, I guess if you're in the air or in the sea next to it, in a combat zone. One day in a combat zone makes you a combat veteran. They might play around with the benefits on that, but I know for a fact that you're considered a combat veteran if you're in if you're in a combat zone for one day, um, you might not get other benefits. Like I know separation pay when my wife and I were married and I went to a combat zone. Uh, I had to wait 30 days before I got comp before I got separation pay. So, but that doesn't matter. You're still considered a combat veteran. So combat veteran one day on the ground. So, uh, or in the sea or in the air. Uh, then there's retired veterans. Retired veterans are anybody who has served honorably for 20 years of active military service. Now, active military service doesn't mean active duty. It can be reserve, National Guard, or active in any branch. So, I myself, uh, I'm actually I'm actually retired reserve. Uh, when I say that, I mean I retired in the reserve system. I did 10 years active duty, and then I got out and uh, had a good job opportunity. But then I wanted to stay in the reserves, so I did another 11 years in the reserve, and I retired in the reserve system. So I'm still considered a re Army retiree. Uh, but I finished off in the reserve system. So anybody who does, but I was in good standing. I was in a reserve unit, an active reserve unit. So I was still considered active, uh, what's the term? Active service. It's not active duty, but active service. I was in what they call a TPU unit, troop, a troop unit. So um, a troop program unit, I think it's called. But that means I was on active status. It's a bad word. I wish it would change to something else. It would be so confusing. So um so a retired veteran is anybody who retires in good standing, 20 years or more, in any of the branches of the military. 
um, which gives you different statuses with retired. I mean, you can retire uh, from active duty service after 20 years, and then you get a paycheck, you know, every day for the rest of your life, and you're, you're qualified for all the benefits that go along with it. Since I'm retired reserves, I'm what they call a gray area retiree. That means I don't get any benefits. I get some benefits, but I don't get like pay or anything like that, and I can't use medical until I reach the age of 60. And they've been trying to change that to 55 for a while now, but who knows if they get to that point. Probably not until I reach 60. So, and any veteran can be in multiple categories. Obviously, a uh, combat veteran is still a regular veteran, and a retired veteran is still a regular veteran. Uh, I'm a I'm a retired combat regular veteran. I guess I qualify for all three of them. I'm not I'm, the only one I don't qualify for is what they call active, active duty retired. So that's the whole boring thing on that. In case you're interested, I figured if I had to do a Veterans Day video, I had to at least tell what people what a veteran is. So uh, thanks for watching. Oh, sorry, my stomach's killing me. And uh, I know it's belated, but happy Veterans Day to anybody who has served in any capacity, including spouses. I know spouses aren't really considered veterans. But if you had to go through some of the stuff my wife went through when she was down at Fort Bragg or other places, um, I consider her a, vet her a veteran. So, uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> she didn't wear the uniform, but you know, she had to put up with some stuff. So spouses, to me, are almost veterans, especially if they serve you know, more than a few years. My wife did the whole 21 years with me. So or not, let's say 20. I got married a year after being in the Army. So uh, she had to put up with a lot. So uh, I kind of give her, you know, you know, she has a little ID card she carries around. I consider her the same. Whatever, I won't get that long story. But um, happy veterans. Oh, not happy. That's a bad. You know, thanks for anybody, everybody who served, um, in and who are veterans in any country. Actually, I mean, veterans are all over the world. Uh, I'm in the United States with other people, other veterans all over the world. We all have a different way of looking at things than civilians. I won't get to that whole thing either. Not good or bad, but veterans are a little different sometimes, and uh, we get our one day, at least in this country. So uh, I guess I will say happy better Veterans Day for anybody who served. Especially those who gave that extra sacrifice and I'll put that link down below and uh, we'll wrap this video up and it's kind of a long 12 minutes so uh, thanks for watching and I'll uh, wait until my next video comes out about my favorite holiday of the year my favorite holiday of the year is Thanksgiving talk about that on my next video thanks for watching